say, right? Uh, we're glad you're with us, everybody. I'm Jenna Lee. I'm John Scott. We're here in the Fox Newsroom and happening now, brand new numbers. Paint a grim Back picture to Washington, D.C. now. Time is ticking for the so-called super committee to find more than a trillion dollars in deficit cuts. That's well, John, on a lighter note here, you probably don't think much about everyday things you do on your way to work. It gets pretty routine, right? But this might make you take a little bit of notice. A new study on the dirtiest things that we touch on the way to work on a normal work day. We asked you... Well, here's a question when it comes to today's economy. What happens to the American dream if there's no American middle class? There's new science today. The middle class is fading. A USA Today analysis showing the middle class is getting less of the pie, sharing less of the total national income. So some are calling this the middle class squeeze. And the question we have today is, is how is this changing America? What does this mean for our economy? Fox Business Network, when, when it comes to the new health care law, we're just getting a report from the Associated Press that the Supreme Court could decide as early as November. November 10th, so it's a little bit over uh, two weeks from now, on whether or not they're going to hear a challenge to the health care overhaul. Now, the reason why that's important, the November 10th deadline is important, or that day is important, is because if they decide to hear these cases, these challenges to the health care law, then they could hear the arguments over that law by March, and then they have several months to make their decision or to craft their own uh, opinions to that argument. Uh, if that happens, that's ahead of the election, of course, in November. So that could be a little bit of a game changer if that's thrown into their term this time around. Uh, we'll keep you up to date as we hear more about this. But again, word that they could decide on whether or not they're going to hear any arguments over the health care law uh, on November 10th or a few days after that. Good morning to you, or I guess good afternoon here now, on the East Coast. Right? Yeah, as uh, Rick just said, <laughs> happening now, President Obama is getting ready to talk oh, about this. Last 10 seconds. That's the <laughs> bad part about it. Thank you for joining us. America Live starts right now. Hi, everybody. We're so glad you're with us on this Thursday. I'm Jenna Lee. I'm John Scott. We are here in the Fox Newsroom bringing you the news happening now. A lot of you are right. logged on while you're watching. And as always, we want to know what you think. Did you today, check out Wall Street today? It's up there. It's better Two. than most days. It's possible, but you got to take some responsibility, right? Everybody, we start off with this news as well. A major shift on the campaign trail for the first time, the very first time. Herman Cain leads the Republican pack. We're glad you're with us on this Thursday. I'm Jenna Lee. And I Information on a deadly missile attack in Pakistan this time. A suspected U.S. drone killing key leaders of a Taliban faction known to attack our Western forces in Afghanistan. Parents go on to say that she would never, ever do this. She showed no signs of depression, but that's not always the case in a suicide. That's right. That's right. Dr. Bonin, we hope you'll come back when they do the second autopsy and we can take a closer we'll see look at it. We'll what Dr. Weck finds. Okay, we will, certainly. Dr. Bonin, thank you, thank you very much for that. Thank you. John? New push on Capitol Hill to protect U.S. consumers from Internet pirates from around the world. Fox Business Network's Rich Edson is live in Washington with this story. Rich? Now, good afternoon, Jenna. Let's move on to another international story. Well, a story that really is important to us here at home as well. Are we in a shadow war with Iran? That's the suggestion from our next guest. In testimony on Capitol Hill yesterday, he said relations between Iran and the U.S. are as contentious as they were in the late 80s. Matthew Levitt is... ...and 18 and very proud of him. All right. And, everything's and I don't think okay. he's holding it against He's you. not holding it against you. That's good to hear. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everybody. America Live starts right now. Hi, everybody. And we start with this headline. Two major developments in the search for baby Lisa calling into question the next steps in solving the mystery of what happened to this little girl. We're glad you're with us on a Friday. I'm Jenna Lee. I'm John Scott. We're here in the Fox. Back to you. We'll hope for the best for the survivors, Harris. Thank you. There is a growing list of lawmakers in Washington calling on Attorney General Eric Holder to just pull it out. I think that's what's happening. I'm not pulling for either team. Just pulled it out of the closet <laughs> this morning. Uh, so and never the right move there. Well, the Fast and Furious investigation continues to heat up. And, of course, that, that, that operation, I should say, is the Fed's botched plan to track guns going into Mexico. There was more than 2,000 of them. Thank you. 
Well, right now in Dallas, we, we showed you first that car chase that was happening just a few moments ago, but this other big story is happening in Dallas as well. A serial rapist who appears to be targeting one of America's most prominent black sororities. Many Delta Sigma Theta alums are now living in fear, changing how they live and thinking twice about wearing Delta clothing or having license right. plates holders on their cars, things like that. Uh, the Texas police is concerns about a raging epidemic. Prescription drugs, drugs normally found in medicine cabinets, are now being sold. A Fox News alert and a White House briefing about to get underway. We're expecting to hear more. Lost a little bit of tape there in our last report. We apologize for that, but we're back up and running with you now. I'm Jenna Lee, everybody. We're glad you're with us on this Friday. The president is using his executive power to stimulate the economy, taking several steps to push ahead without Congress while he waits for lawmakers to act on his jobs bill. This is to say, right? Uh, we're glad you're with us, everybody. I'm Jenna Lee. I'm John Scott. We're here in the Fox Newsroom and happening now, brand new numbers. Paint a grim Everybody, and we start with this headline. Two major developments in the search for baby Lisa calling into question the next steps in...